and a, a bimal, bimalula. So the medial mal is broken and the lateral mal is broken, which is the distal tibia and the distal fibula. So walking small frag tray is what we're gonna use. It's the most common tray here, it's synthes. Um, so what I typically pull out is the power screwdriver, the depth gauge, the hand screwdriver, a 2-5 drill bit, and a 3-5 drill bit, just in case they lag. Throw that over there. Mm -hmm. The most common um, plate that we use for a fibula fracture is a 7-hole, one third two. So I'm going to get out a 6-hole just in case, but 7 is the most popular size that we use. If I can find one. There might not be one. He might have to use seven. Or I have an eight. So seven hole is the most popular size, but I don't see one in a tray. But it's okay because I can tell him when he comes in the room, hey, we don't have a seven hole, mm -hmm. but can you use a six or an eight? And mm -hmm. he can either use that or we can open another tray for a uh, seven hole. Mm -hmm. Also, because the medial mouth is broken, we typically put one long screw in the medial mouth. So I'm gonna take out the long screws out of the rock and small frag, which goes up to 95. Mm -hmm. And because we have to put a long screw in, I also wanna get out a long two five zero bit. Something here. This creates a hot mess. So the long two five drill bit's calibrated, so we don't need a depth gauge. Um, there's supposed to be one in the tray, but it's missing. Mm -hmm. But we can use this one. Okay. And then I also will take out the screws. Today we're going to be using Cortex screws. So those are the ones on the right hand side, 3 5 Cortex. Mm -hmm. If the bone is really shitty, then we'll use um, Cancel screws at the bottom. These are 4 0 Cancel. So just have a little bit extra bite mm -hmm. than the 3 5 do. So just a little bit more robust. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Um, we don't typically use locking screws on um, um, ankle fractures, but they're here. And why don't we use a locking screw on ankle fractures? Uh, because the plate that we use, the 132, is not a locking plate. It only accepts cortex screws. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, at the top of this tray, put that in the right spot, we have some K wires. We don't normally use the ones out of this particular tray because they're threaded and he doesn't like threaded screws. So we'll use regular K wires that are not threaded. We have crab claws in the top of this, which we use to grab both ends of the fracture and manipulate to get it reduced. We also have small point of reduction forceps that he can grab the actual bone and pull the fracture ends together. So different purposes for these instruments. Mm -hmm. All right, got it.